evolution clinical practice with the use of RCT. So this is uh, today's agenda. Firstly, I would like to talk about OCT penetration in chemical hospital. And finally, I uh, would like to uh, talk about how to simplify OCT navigated PCI. So this is uh, our case number of our, our PCI, including FFO and the imaging modality in Shonen Chemical General Hospital. As you can see, uh, since 2012, and PCI case number remains uh, around 209, 200 and uh, around uh, 1,000 cases annually. And if you look at the, our OCT case 2012, OCT case number is just 16. But uh, since 2016, OCT case number has been rapidly increasing uh, from 170 to allow more than 300 cases in annually. So, uh, left panel shows our modality penetration rate per PCI. When we look at the uh, penetration rate of FFR, uh, since 2015, uh, FFR rate per PCR is around 50%. And the amazing usage is uh, uh, more than 100% per PCR. It means uh, we use our amazing modality for all cases of PCR and uh, some follow-up cases at the, at the time of our diagnostic angiography. And uh, when we look at the distribution of the iris and the OCT usage during PCI, uh, if you look at the light panel, our OCT usage is around 30% since 2017 in my health school, and 70% uh, PCI has been performed uh, under iris guidance. But important to know is we, perform, we, have, we have performed the PCR uh, under imaging guidance for all cases. And as you know, our OCT was very uh, useful for our research work. Since 2017, our center published nine articles, including uh, top journal, JAK, JAK intervention, and cyclical intervention. Uh, including imaging modality with use of OCT and the FFR. But uh, uh, nowadays, uh, I'm struggling. Uh, I'm going to make a lot of effort how to simplify uh, OCT navigated PCI. Currently, uh, Abbott company uh, proposes uh, MLD marks algorithm, but uh, this is a uh, there's a, uh, nothing new for me and also for you. This is just a simple algorithm. So uh, with the uh, MLD marks uh, algorithm and uh, conventional OCT PCI requires several times of OCT pullback. Of course, the advantage of the OCT is to evaluate exact uh, region morphology, but there's uh, still uh, some drawbacks to OCT remain, such as increasing contrast volume and longer procedure time. But now uh, I would like to uh, propose MLD Max 2 algorithm. Uh, this algorithm doesn't require several time of OCT pullback. It will uh, make PCI more comfortable with a small amount of contrast volume and shorter procedure time. But as you know, uh, this algorithm strongly requires uh, tissue classification and exact tissue evaluation uh, for OCT PCI. So, uh, as you know, our uh, OCT derived tissue characteristics is very complex. I think uh, these characteristics are almost for research. So I'd like to propose uh, two tissue classification, just uh, 
uh, first we soft clerk, and the second is the hard clerk for PCI. Such as, uh, for example, hard clerk includes a significant classification, such as the uh, previous cases. This is obvious we have clerk. And uh, in my experience, a uh, concentric fibrous, fibrous clerk is a uh, required similar time uh, uh, laser modification. And the RS style is all, should be also included into hard clerk. So this is uh, my OCT PCI algorithm in my mind. So uh, first angiogram is potentially very important to build their primary strategy. And uh, then uh, we will perform first OCT. And if it's closed, uh, this patient uh, should be included into MLD max 2 algorithm. And after lesion evaluation and lesion is very soft, we have to, at, at this moment we have to decide everything, such as region length, landing zone, play balloon size, length, stent size, length, and post, post balloon sizes if needed. And uh, after finishing uh, these procedures, we should be uh, we should perform final OCT in order to check dissection, uh, malaposition, and stent expansion. This is just a, a regular case of, uh, with the uh, MLD Max 2 OCT PCI. So our, our target region is proximal LAD, and the uh, FFL for LAD was 0 0.74, it's significant. Uh, my visual analysis, region length is more than 40, and this uh, visual lumen diameter is uh, more than 3 mm, and proximal part of that is more than 3.5. And uh, I performed a first OCT. Uh, sorry. First OCT showed this upper part is very healthy with a three lumen construction, and the lesion is very eccentric with a five large roma, and the classification is very minor. In this kind of case, uh, we can easily apply MLD max to algorithm. So based on OCT findings, laser length is 43, distal length, length diameter is 3.3, and the functional leg length is 3.9 millimeter. And then we just uh, add balloon dilatation with 3 millimeter balloon with high pressure. Then we put uh, ES 3.3, 0 by 28, and uh, secondly, I put the 3.5 by 18 millimeters <coughs> at the 16 atmosphere. So finally, uh, based on a first OCT examination, I did uh, post dilation by using 3.75 by 50 millimeters <laughs> at 20 atmosphere. So this is the final OCT finding. There's no dissection at the distal part of the stem. I think the stent expansion is uh, acceptable. So, and if you look at the light panel, our uh, proximal end has an uh, acceptable stent apposition. So, this is uh, uh, my effort to simplify the OCT PCR in Shonen Chemical General Hospital. And uh, moreover, our final angiogram shows a uh, very uh, good result with the uh, procedure time is around 21 minutes and the contrast volume is less than, smaller than 100 millimeters. Okay. And uh, this is another potential uh, to simplify the OCT navigated PCI. So uh, just uh, two days ago, my junior, our colleague, performed uh, OCT navigated PCI with a low molecular decus one. As you can see, our OCT pullback was performed uh, and a low molecular decus one. As you can see, uh, even with the low molecular decus one, we can see a very beautiful view and uh, we can evaluate uh, lesion characteristics very sufficiently. 
So uh, this is just my proposal uh, to simplify the OCP-guided PCI. Thank you for attention.